Hello. When terminating 250 micron fiber or loose tube fiber, applying a buffer to fan out kit provides extra protection to the fibers and is actually a prerequisite for most uh, termination methods. I have a couple of tools here. Uh, the big one being uh, some needle nose pliers and some snip. And of course, I have the buffer to fan out assembly and the top and bottom halves. To stay safe, I got my safety glasses. For this CCHO one u I have removed 45 inches of sheath and I have about 8.5 inches of uh, buffer tubes. So tape your cable. And let me remind you something. Buffer tube fan out kit come in two flavors, indoor and outdoor. An indoor buffer tube fan out kit is never to be used outside. And if you do that, it will avoid a lot of troubles when you come to testing your fibers once you're done. So to install this, I have my uh, buffer tube taped on the table, and I have a strip or tape ready for, to receive the buffer tube fan out assembly. On the top of this, um, there are holes that correspond with the legs. Make sure that they are lined uh, in a manner that is easiest or visible to you. In this case, I have my blue little hole on my right, and I'm going to work progressively through all the colors starting with the top right all the way to the bottom here. And to do that, I do have an overhang of a buffer tube uh, that's about one and a half to two inches. I will take my buffer tube fan out body, the lower half, and install it into the little crimp area. And grabbing my little uh, needle nose pliers, I will crimp, crimp it in using the little two, two crimp bands in there. And then make sure you test it to make sure that it stays. And now we're ready. Grab the first fiber. I will start with the blue one and work progressively to aqua. Make sure you disentangle any tangled fibers. And this uh, is a little tricky here. Make sure you can see and insert it about three inches. And I'm working on my orange one now. Then green. All right, we're down to the aqua. Okay, and then push the rest of them as a group inside. And then remove the assembly from the tape. Once they protrude from the bottom, grab all the fibers at the same time and pull. And if you notice your fibers curling or turning and twisting in one direction or the other, you can compensate to make sure they're not entangled. And then gently slip the assembly into the lower half of the buffer to fan out kit, just like that. And then get ready to align and install the top half. There are four little tabs on the four corners and snap it in. And you're almost done. That's what that looks like. You got fibers protruding on the bottom and you got your two halves attached to each other. So, and th that's it for that um, relatively simple process. Now, I had gel-free tubes. If you have gel in your tubes prior to installing the buffer tube fan out kit, you might want to clean them. Also, make sure that you follow all instructions on the label uh, for your, the cleaning supplies that you'll be using. Make sure that your fibers are clean and there is no residue left on your fingers if you slide it across your fibers and then you'll be ready to install your buffer to fan out kit. If you have any questions, give us a call or send us an email at landscapesolutions at corning.com. And remember, we recommend getting trained in fiber optic installation. Thank you.